All right. First question is going to come from Rick Stroud. Oh, I don't know why. Sorry about that. Uh, Levante, when you look at this game, uh, the, the defensive numbers aren't that bad. I mean, nobody had a big day, you know, statistically, uh, and yet you guys gave up some points. How did you feel things went on the defensive side today? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we was okay, but it always could be better. You know, as far as, you know, it was our, really our first game, you know, again, not there. Uh, tackling was a little off. And uh, just a couple, uh, just a small couple of players that we kind of messed up on uh, communication. But and all in all, the communication was everything. Everything was on point. But some of the big plays that uh, was given up was a, was a communication error uh, on our part. And, um, you know, they got us with a, with a couple of gadget plays, a, little, a couple of screens, stuff like that, misdirection stuff. So no, all in all, we played solid. But like I said, man, it's always to be better. We, we, we lost the game. So I mean, we ain't do enough to get our team a victory. We didn't get no turnovers. So uh, we could uh, play a lot better than we did. Thanks. Okay, next is going to be Greg Allman. Hey, Levante. For all the uh, optimism that this team had coming in to have kind of some of the deflation of this loss, what do you guys say in the locker room when you do to, to not let it carry over beyond one week and build a bounce back next week at home? You know, the good thing about it is, like I said, man, a lot of the stuff was uh, uh, bucks on bucks, in, I mean, uh, incidents that happened in the game. So once we get that taken care of, man, I know it sounds, you know, so cliche, but, you know, we get that taken care of, man. I mean, we in the game, we possibly can win the football game. So uh, once we start doing that and get more discipline, you know, as far as, you know, just stop shooting ourselves in the foot, everything take care of itself. But, like I said the optimism still uh, optimism still there. I mean, we we have a great football team. We have a great group of guys with, with good heads on our shoulders to know that we can learn from this and then move on. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put this on the bed and we're going to uh, watch the film and see what we can do better. And we're going to move on to uh, Carolina. Hey, Lante, before the game, you guys stood together in the end zone and kind of had a moment together. I just want to ask you what that conversation was like in deciding what was best and how you felt about that. It was an ongoing thing, man, from, you know, from a long time ago, man. Uh, guys felt comfortable with uh, getting, uh, displaying, uh, displaying unity with one another. You know, we got a lot of different people from uh, different backgrounds on this football team, but at the end of the day, we're all one family. That's what we always preach. And uh, that's something that we want to do. We want to lock arms and, uh, uh, just been uh, a thing of unity for our football team. That's what we try to uh, try to preach most of the time. And next is going to be um, Scott Reynolds. Hey, Levante, you were talking about uh, the Bucks beating Bucks. That that's really been kind of a recurring theme for a long time. Uh, what is it going to take for you guys to, on a consistent basis, beat the other team and not yourself? And and is that just creating some takeaways on defense to even out what the offense gives away? What is it Lock, going to uh, Locking in all four quarters, mainly. That's the main thing, just locking in all four quarters and understanding what your job is and what your responsibility is. That's the main thing. And uh, for some reason, it always happens with this team. So we have to, when we take care of that part, everything will be uh, smooth and go. But like I said, man, we got a great football team. We got a lot of a lot of smart guys who can recover from this and we get, get better and uh, come back next week uh, to get uh, try to get W again. Thanks, Levante. Yeah. Next is going to be Jenna Lane. Levante, you guys come into this season with such enormous expectations, not just from yourselves, because you guys always expect a lot from yourselves, but so many expectations from the outside. Um, does, does that make a loss like this today a lot tougher to stomach? I mean, can you just take us through how you're feeling right now after all that? Uh, any loss is a tough loss, you know, especially uh, with the group of guys that we have. Every game we step out, we feel like we should, we should win. But like you said, we expect more from ourselves. But from the outside world, we're not really thinking about what everybody else is thinking. We worry about what we can take control when we're in the locker room. And today, uh, we didn't get the job done today. But luckily, we got uh, 15 more games that we can go out there and play and, uh, and, and have a turnaround. What do you think happened um, on both sides of the ball after you guys were able to, uh, you know, march downfield pretty, pretty quickly and, and score a touchdown there? I mean, it seemed like you guys were going to be rolling, uh, and then there were some struggles. Could you identify maybe, you know, what what happened there? What maybe what went wrong? The main thing is just bucks being bucks. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. it all comes back to um, once we get that taken care of, everything else will be uh, sky's the limit for us. Thank you. Our last question is going to come from Ed and Cena. Levante, I mean, obviously, you guys have, have kind of gotten used to over the past few years, you know, playing on short fields, and it seemed like that, that happened a lot today. 
Uh, I mean, is there a certain mentality that you guys have to have when, when it comes to when you're finding yourself kind of backed up uh, a little bit, you know, drive after drive kind of as it happened a little bit today? Uh, that's just something that we we always when we when we take the field we take the field that's saying like we gonna get the ball back to the offense no matter what we had on the field I don't think we don't we don't think about nothing like that uh, I think Cody Bowles does a great job of reiterating that to us every time we out there we out there to dominate and take the ball away and try to get the ball back to our offense as much as I can you know whether whether we on the whatever lot y'all line it may be we always just try to get out there and dominate when we on the field and in terms of the, just kind of the, the the defensive pass rush today. Were they doing anything to kind of like that made Breeze especially tough to to get to? Uh, no, they just run the offense. We all know uh, Drews get the ball out quick, and uh, the main thing is we just got to be in our be in the pass lanes when we do throw the ball. And uh, he they they use their quick pass games similar to their run game, like they use it as their run game. So uh, one thing we could help is just getting our hands up on those quick passes, but they don't do nothing special. All right, that's all. Thanks, Levante. Thank you.